had the whole Saturday free, and I was looking forward to working on getting the metal deck beams up into place. Step one was to grab the cage for the front end of the skid steer to stand in and work from. Step two was to get the heavy beams up into place. I think step two is going to be a little harder than step one. I also brought over the forklift, but I learned pretty quickly it didn't work very well in the new loose gravel I just put down. So I left it parked right there for now. First thing to do was to take off a couple of the siding boards where the metal beams will attach to the barn. This old weathered barn wood cracks really easy, so I had to be really careful pulling them off there because I'm hoping to reuse all this wood. I got a spot notched out where the metal beam will be bolted to the barn. And then once I found the height of the deck on the barn, I transferred that line to the metal post using my laser level. It took a couple trips to get the line matched up with my mark on the barn, but once I did, I marked the metal. And then I clamped a piece of angle at the mark that I'll be able to set the metal beam on until I get it welded. Once I got the paint taken off, I was ready to go grab the beam. It was not easy getting the beam up there. Had a couple tight corners to get around and had to pause to move the camera. I carefully shimmied out across the roof, watching my foot placement, and then set one side on the barn. Thought I lost it right there. But luckily it stayed on the barn and I was able to lift their side up on top of the metal angle. Sorry, there'll be a little beeping in this video. I had some adrenaline going. I used a strap to raise up the end on the barn to my mark. It took some work to figure out what height the deck needed to be. I wanted the top of the deck to be level with the floor inside of the barn. So there's no step up when you step onto the deck. Pretty sure I had it. Fingers crossed. I marked the center of a couple of the holes and then drilled them out for the three quarter inch leg screws I was gonna use. I thought I'd just get the top two in about halfway, not tighten them down all the way just yet so I could still move the other end a little bit and make sure it was positioned to where I needed it. Forklift was still stuck, but is actually positioned where I could use it to raise up this beam. Thought it might be a little easier than carrying it up the stairs like I did the first one. This beam was about an inch too long, and I had no idea at the time why. Later I realized that I had measured before I welded on the bracket down below to support the wooden beam under the overhang. And I think what happened is that when I welded that, that on, it caused the beam to warp just a little bit and come in towards the barn. So now this beam was too long. I cut off about a half an inch of it, but I also wanted to get the beam close to level again. I thought I could maybe use a strap hooked on the top of the beam to pull it outward until I got the horizontal beam in place which would hold it there but I learned my lassoing skills are not quite up to par so I had to get smarter than the strap Parked my pickup as an anchor and then had to grab one more strap to reach all the way down to it, but got hooked onto the hitch and pulled it out a little bit. It was now straight up and down, which means take two with the 
Metal beam. Just like the first one, I got this one leveled out and a couple of leg screws sunk into it to make sure it wasn't going anywhere. I wanted to get all the beams positioned in place before welding any of them so I could see how they compared to each other, making sure they're nice and level. So that means the next one is this front one. I'm going to have to put these straps on the payroll soon. They're really working hard for me. This beam was quite a bit heavier than the side ones. So I had to do one side at a time, basically. I still had the strap attached to the top of the left upright, so I thought I might as well use it. They all matched up nicely, and it was level across the whole deck. So that means time for my aerial welding rig. I got some strong welds on the sides of the beams, and then I could remove the clamps and the piece of angle to weld the top and the bottom. I made two passes around every seam, just making sure it was a nice strong weld. The last one to go up is the one that goes across the middle. This was definitely the hardest one. But I basically just used the same process I did on the previous ones. I clamped some metal on both sides to set this one up on top of. I had to <laughs> pretty much muster everything I had to get it up there, but I was luckily able to do so. This one was about a quarter inch too short, and I really didn't want to try to fill that in as I welded it. So I used a couple straps to pull the two outside pieces together. It was starting to get dark on me, but I really didn't want to stop. I wanted to get this last one welded in place. So after checking to make sure it was centered, I got to welding. I worked all day essentially welding four pieces of metal together. And I couldn't be happier that I got it done. The next day I called the tow company. Come help me get the forklift out. My grandpa bought his little tractor down. And we hoped it would be enough to pull this thing out of there. He actually had to pull me forward too. Those things are terrible in loose gravel. Next up was to get the hangers mounted to the barn. I used my chalk line wrapped around both metal beams to give me a level line across both sides. And then I could measure down from there to figure out the height of the hanger. I use the impact driver to sink the leg screws in most of the way, but I always like to finish them off by hand because it's a lot easier to tell how tight they are and to make sure you don't over tighten them and strip it out. I got the pressure treated 2x6s cut to length and popped them in place. Drake's still not quite sure what to think of these heights. He's a little bit of a chicken. Or maybe he's just smarter than me. The metal hangers I made have a little bit of a round corner on the bottom, which keeps the 2x6 from 
sitting all the way down. So I used a clamp to suck it down tight before drilling and bolting it. The outside metal beam had... Dang it. The outside metal beam had a little bit of a bow to it from welding all the hangers only on one side of it. Both the far left and the far right boards were the same length, so I just cut them all that length. And then after putting the middle one in place, I used the strap again to pull the outside metal beam in just a little bit until it was tight against the board. And now all the rest of them would be the same length. Drake and I had a nice sunset to watch as I put in the last joist.